Now, there's a lot of talk about the debate of creationism versus evolution, when in reality there is no debate. Evolution won over a hundred years ago, and there really is no controversy to be taught. However, there are real debates having, happening within evolutionary science, and I thought I would share one with you. Now, this one centers around when placental mammals first appeared. A placental mammal is basically um, a human, whales, cats, mice. These are all placental mammals because the way they create offspring is by um, having them develop internally within the mother. And they are fed by the placenta. Contrast to that, birds, reptiles, they lay eggs and they are sort of nourished within the eggs. Um, and a slight distinction, marsupials are actually not placental mammals because they use a pouch. And, um, well, that's a whole separate thing, but just to point out that not all mammals are placental mammals. But nonetheless, it's a huge group of mammals and one we belong to, so it'd be interesting to know when they first appeared. Now, early, um, earlier studies using uh, genetic information, like DNA studies, put them at around 100 million years ago, so in the Cretaceous period, so they'd be uh, kind of hanging around dinosaurs. But uh, a more recent study uh, performed by Maureen O'Leary of Stony Brook University in New York, uh, instead of looking at looking so heavily on the DNA, they actually looked at uh, the morphological features of so the physical characteristics of about um, 86 different species, 46 living, 40 alive. And um, they looked at way more physical features than usual. Uh, the last study uh, that had the most number of physical features looked at was about 450. This one looked at 4,541 physical features. So huge, huge amount. And they looked at 27 different genes um, there are only, that might seem a little lopsided, but um, there are only so many genes in an organism. So basically, um, what she did was look at the, uh, the features and try to match them up to the fossil record. And she found that uh, the oldest placental mammal was only at 64.85 million years ago. So there's a huge gap there, about 35 million years. And it's a... Uh, what they're basically saying is that, well, maybe we don't uh, or we evolve a little quicker than we realize initially that perhaps uh, the mutations aren't happening at a constant rate because that's where the old number came from. It was sort of thought that, well, we know how often genes mutate and if we, we count back the various features, um, it would take about 100 million years back to get to uh, the origins of placental mammals. The only problem is the fossil record doesn't really support that. I mean, we haven't looked at everything yet, but um, looking at the fossil record, it actually puts it at 65 million years ago, roughly, of course. And um, it's an interesting debate and one I don't think I'm personally educated enough to uh, comment on. But if we are talking about debates regarding evolution, it's not whether or not it happened, because it certainly did. It's stuff like this. Um, which is a bit difficult and a bit technical, but still uh, really interesting and a great example of debate within science.